A new school to serve students with multiple disabilities will be established in the western part of Singapore. It's the second government-funded special education school dedicated to students with at least two disabilities. Tan Sui again tells us how this will cut down on one student's four-hour daily commute. 13-year-old Christina Cheong has cerebral palsy and she wakes up at 4 a.m. every weekday to get to this school in Pasiris. Going there takes about two hours by public transport as she lives in Bukit Batok. Extra preparation time is also needed as she has special footwear and wears diapers after undergoing surgery recently. It depends on her mood also because the moment when we touch her leg, when she says pain, she shouts she don't want to cooperate. Yeah, that is a very challenging part for us. So, Miss City was happy when she heard that a school will be set up closer to home. Because previously we wanted to get her in the west side but in other special school, but that was not recommended by NUH. So that's the only school that was recommended by her professor in uh, Pasiri. 15% of the school's population live in the west. Demand for special education schools has also increased since the Compulsory Education Act was extended to those with moderate to severe conditions in 2019. The school's current capacity has uh, reached its maximum. Uh, we have taken in more students than uh, our maximum capacity. So with the new school, uh, students who are staying in the West could ask for a transfer over um, so they can actually spend less time travelling. MOE is working with Cerebral Palsy Alliance Singapore to set up the new school, which caters to those aged between 7 and 18. It will offer programs to those with moderate to high support needs to ensure they pick up skills so they can live independently. More teachers are also being recruited. These students have complex needs which can affect their learning and mobility and may also face medical challenges. Families can look forward to strong support for their child's holistic development with SPED educators, allied professionals and parents working closely together. Another school which serves students with moderate autism began operations in January this year. St Andrew's Mission School is currently occupying a holding school at Bukit Batok. It's expected to move to its permanent site at Clementi in 2027. 500 primary and 350 post-primary level students will be able to enrol at the school where they'll have access to the national curriculum.